Okay, so we did our work on the fence and then we got to where we can take our flag out and we can shake it around here. And like I said, this mare, I, I flagged colts on her and I've, shoot, I've, I've, you know what I've done? I've, I've moved cattle with, with a flag on it to where we're moving cattle around. Buffalo, we've worked quite a bit of buffalo on her, that sort of thing, and, and got to where, well, you know, shoot when you hang in there with for a while, she gets pretty good about it. But there's no way that I would say that she likes it. She's not, she's not liking it, but she'll tolerate it. But the key deal on this thing is, is you got to, they're all individuals, so you got to hang in there. I had a, I had a sorrel gelding years ago that, I mean, I did a lot of, I doctored a lot of cattle on that horse and we started a lot of colts on it and, and uh, he never did really get good about the flag. I mean, he would tolerate it. He was kind of similar to this mare. And you know, when we'd be messing around doing the hooking on exercise in the round pen and for, for you folks, maybe that aren't familiar with that, it's you drive your horse around in the round pen and you apply pressure and release pressure and you get that horse to where he hooks on to you and, and, and he'll, when you yield to him, it's the same thing, the pressure and release. When you yield to, to, when he yields to you and you yield to him, he'll draw off the fence and come to you. And that's, it's, it's an exercise that you would use to get a horse to where they're better to catch and uh, they're more maybe partnered up with you. But okay, long story short on that you're looking for when you drive that horse around to where when he rolls off the fence he always turns towards you and I'll, I'll do a demonstration and I, I might have done this already too but if we look in our archives and stuff because I'm pretty sure we did but if not I will, I will darn sure do it again the, the hook and on deal but he would roll off the fence and he might take a step to you there's no way that he would roll off the fence and walk to you. And ideally thinking when you do this, when you get a horse that really gets good about it, is what they do is they roll off that fence and they come to you and they lower their head and they're licking their lips as they're coming to you. To where they're in a very sort of a soft, submissive, sub submissive sort of tone, I should say, I guess maybe. They're just really relaxed and he wouldn't do that. I mean, he'd get stopped and he'd roll, he'd look in there and he might take a step to you. And he was good to go catch and everything, saddle him up, the whole deal. But uh, that, that's all he would give me. <laughs> I mean, I hung in there a long time and I, I had to take that. That's what he, you know, that's what he offered me. So, and you might wait a long time if you were thinking, okay, having him get off, roll off that fence and come to you. But no, he'd, he'd step to me about one step and I'd have to catch him because I had stuff I had to go and do. But his name was Cowboy and he was, he was a great horse and I got a, had, a lot of, had a lot of fun and he taught me a bunch and uh, a little girl's riding him right now so he's got a perfect retirement. But. So this deal here, like with the flag and everything, hang in there. It's, it's well worth the time and, and use that fence to where you can you can get them to where they can accept things that scare them uh, and you keep yourself safe while you're doing it. So it's just an, another, another little tool that we use. So it's all good. That's why groundwork is so important.